What's going on YouTube? It's your boy King J coming at y'all with a new video today. In today's video, we're gonna be teaching you guys how to stream from the PlayStation 4 to YouTube with the best settings. All coming up next. Boy, you Alright guys, so in my last video that I posted about this last year, the most asked question in that video was, King J, how do you accept the terms and conditions so that I can live stream on YouTube because they couldn't link their PS4 to their YouTube account so they couldn't stream. So I actually found out the answer for that and I'm going to show you guys today how to do it and what's the best settings for the YouTube live stream from the PlayStation 4. If you guys are new to this channel, man, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you share this video so that more people can, you know, know information about this. I'm going to show you guys a 2019 edition on how this is done so let's hop right into it so the first thing that you want to do you want to go ahead and plug in your playstation 4 camera if you don't have a playstation 4 camera this also still works so just stay along with me so like i said the first thing that you want to actually do is go on the laptop or a computer enter in your youtube information and sign into your account and you actually want to go to um to your community settings and where it says live streaming you want to enable that now if you have a community strike or some type of ban on your YouTube then no you're not going to be able to stream and it's going to actually let you know that but I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean and how to do it all right guys so the first thing you want to do is come up here to where your main YouTube pages you want to click on your profile icon and you want to go over to where it says YouTube studio beta now if you guys have the old YouTube and I can show you how to do that as well but let me just knock out the first part real quick all right you're going to be at your main page and then what exactly what you want to do is come over to where it says other features you want to go down to where it says status and features you want to click on that it's gonna bring you to a page to where it says live streaming what you want to do is where it says it's gonna be unchecked it's gonna be unenabled so what you want to do is click enable and you're gonna be accepting the terms and conditions and that is how you're gonna be able to live stream on it. now if you guys have the old YouTube stuff I can show you how to do that as well this is your old YouTube page and what you want to do now is you want to go to where it says channel it's going to bring you to the exact same page where it's going to have live stream it's not going to be enabled you want to click on that to enable it and then you will accept the terms and condition and then you'll be good to go so after you guys have enabled your live streaming and you accept the terms and conditions what you want to do is you want to come over here you want to go to settings and you want to go to where it says sharing and broadcasting so once you're in sharing and broadcast i'm going to go over everything you want to go over here to where it says broadcasting settings advanced settings now again if you guys want to stream with the camera you can if you guys don't want to stream with the YouTube camera I'm sorry if you guys don't want to stream with the PlayStation 4 camera you don't have to but if you guys want to engage in with your your viewers from your stream and you want to you know actually gain some more subs I will highly suggest that you guys use a PlayStation 4 camera so people can see you because a lot of people want to know you know what you look like and they want to see you you know enjoying your stream and having a good time so I will highly suggest that you include it now if you guys want to know some awesome some nice camera video settings including with the green screen I actually have a video on that and I'm gonna drop that in the description I'm gonna have a pop-up on that right now you guys go check that out go get you guys that information so that you know the best camera video settings out there because I have dropped that video and you guys are gonna absolutely love it so if you do have a green screen and you want to know some more information on that go check that video out all right so next you want to come over here to where it says audio sharing settings and the audio sharing now this is where you can click X on both of these you want to check both of these so that way in your stream people can hear your audio also you want to click X on the share party audio so if you have people in your party and they're playing with you you want to actually let your stream hear them so you want to click X on both of these things so that way people can hear you in the stream and people can also hear people in your party in your stream alright so display message to spectators and spectator comments now to me I'm gonna be honest I don't like this I don't think it's professional at all basically what this is and I'm gonna show you guys what it is you can enter in a message at the bottom of your screen and it's gonna show a message to your, your stream to me that just doesn't seem professional I don't even know why they had it on here I would not recommend you doing this at all to me in my opinion that is just not professional at all 
Cause like I said, at the bottom of here, it, it, you can just put any message like go follow my Twitter, go follow my Instagram. But if you see on the right hand side, it's gonna have all your messages um, from your stream. And to me, that just doesn't look, you know, nobody does that. So I wouldn't recommend you doing it. Now, only time that I recommend that you guys will actually use this is if you do not have a, a laptop or the YouTube app on your phone so that you can read comments. The only way I would say that if you have this up is if you're reading comments and you don't have a laptop or a YouTube app to actually to look at your comments so then i will tell you the guys to use that so right now i'm going to keep that off now comments to speech is basically siri reading off all the comments in your live stream which will get annoying i would not recommend this at all because that's going to be that android reading every comment every emoji everything that goes on your stream the android is going to be reading that so i would not click that at all so now let's just say that you guys have a community or something like that within playstation 4 you know they have the communities I would highly recommend that you guys start up a community that way you can get some more viewers and add all your friends to it so that way when you're live streaming all you have to do is link your community to your broadcast and everybody in the community will get a notification that you're live thus bringing you more viewers thus getting you bigger on YouTube so I would highly encourage you guys to link your community to your broadcast so once you have everything set up like that you have all that taken care of now what you want to go over to is link with other services now you want to basically go ahead and link your YouTube with your PlayStation 4 and it will be just like this. Once you click X on that, it's going to ask you to basically sign into your YouTube account on um, via PlayStation 4. It's going to ask you to enter in your email to your YouTube account. It's also going to ask you to enter in your password. Once you enter in everything like that, it's going to take you to a page. It's going to ask you to allow access from the PlayStation 4 to your YouTube. You want to click OK on that. Then it's going to bring you back to a web page like this. It's going to say your SNE account is now linked to your YouTube account and all you want to simply do is press oh, okay so everything is linked in and signed in you're good to broadcast as I stated in my last video you cannot just simply stream just like from on this page you literally have to start up a game and then you have to stream which is good so I, like I said if you're doing 2k Apex, pays Grand Theft Auto, no, doesn't Fortnite doesn't matter what game you're playing you want to simply click exit so once you guys click on the desired game that you want to once it comes away from that loading screen you want to simply click the share button on your PlayStation 4 you want to tap that one time and you want to go over to where it says broadcast gameplay you want to click X on that it's gonna ask you which service do you want to broadcast on Twitch or YouTube we're doing YouTube I will drop a twitch tutorial if you guys want me to just let me know in the comment section I got you guys all right so once you come up here again do you guys want to include in your camera your PlayStation 4 camera at the bottom left um, corner you have the options right here to do so these are faster settings so you can click x on that and it'll take it away or you can guys can show your camera as i stated before i think you should y'all make sure you guys include your microphone audio in the broadcast and again this is that display message to spectators and have your message up. again if you guys do not have a, a laptop or a youtube app on your phone so you can read comments go ahead and click this but guys if you do please do not click this because again that does not look professional in my opinion so we're going to take that off now the next thing you want to come to is down here is your title now depending on what game you're playing that's where your title is going to come into play let's just say you're playing fortnite you want to put in best solo player um 100 kills going crazy in fortnite you want to put something that is going to attract viewers i I'm, and I, i'm sorry i have to say this for everyone guys when you're streaming you have to put something in your title that's going to attract the viewers, that's going to bring them in to click on your video. Please, guys, stop putting, uh, for instance, guys, stop putting NBA 2K19 chill stream or NBA 2K19 grinding up going crazy. That is not going to bring in any new viewers. You have to think about how many people are streaming 2K at a time. That one title is that has the most juiciest information is gonna bring in on the viewers so as you guys can see see here in my title uh 3x3 crew top clan rank 13 verify youtube you know that's that's all those are keywords that's gonna bring in new viewers and make people want to click and then that's when your content comes into play so you can retain the view so again make sure you guys put something that's a little clickbait on your title just a little bit that way you can bring in some new viewers because nobody you know wants to stream all day and on day and have no new viewers it's about your titles and about your thumbnails if you guys want a video specifically on 
how to get more views please let me know in the comment section i also want to drop that video as well y'all just let me know what y'all want to see also um if you guys want another video on how to upload custom thumbnails to your youtube uh live stream videos i can also drop a video on that because a lot of people don't know how to do that either uh you can have your own custom thumbnail and you can upload it onto your uh your, your live stream so let me know if you guys need that as well so let's hop on down to the next one all right so the next one is going to be the description as i told a lot of my friends guys your description and your tags need to be almost identical your description needs to be if, if you're list, if you're playing fortnite uh best solo shotgunner or something uh i don't i don't really play fortnite no more so i don't really know uh pro builder elite build or something like that you know you want to spice it up in your description as well also include your title in your description you also want to include your tags in your description as well that way when people search up something with fortnite maybe your stream might pop up y'all see what y'all see what i'm getting at y'all y'all see what i'm getting at now the quality it's another thing that i want to talk to you guys guys if you do not have a good amount of upload speed and you can actually test that out by just test, test, testing your internet on your playstation 4 you're not going to be able to stream a high quality stream when i mean high quality i mean 70 720p at 60 frames per second that is the highest um, quality playstation 4 streams allows it to go and if you're trying to stream at 720p 60 frames per second you must have five megabytes upload speed there is no way around it. you have to have 5,000 kilobytes in order for you guys to stream at 60 frames per second 720p so what are you like well jay i only have one megabyte or i have even lower than one megabyte i have kilobytes per second guys you want to set your quality down to 360p standard therefore that you can stream and not lag at all no one wants to see a laggy stream or choppy stream so if your streams are laggy and very very choppy all you have to do is reduce the quality down to 360p standard let's just say you have three megabytes above low speed then maybe you can do 360p high or you can do 720p low four megabytes and up you can do 720p standard and high so that that, that answers that question is right there um privacy make sure your privacy is on public um and also the tags the tags here are very very critical as you guys can see you can enter in tags it's gonna it's gonna have some additional ones already up there as you can see they have the tag ps4 live playstation 4 sony active entertainment and aba 2k19 now what you want to do is include your psn name right here so they can put your psn name also in your tag and the next step is you want to add some additional tag guys put best jump shot in your in your in your tags put best dribble moves spam up some tags so that way they can generate more views for you guys i'm telling you i'm going to give you guys knowledge and information this is how these youtubers are doing it what they're doing is going here best jump shot just put it in their tag might not even be the best jump shot but who knows you might have the best jump shot in the game put it in your tags i'll be telling people this is how you spam up your tags right here then you want to space uh uh you want to put a uh, green jump shot something like that or what like even if, if even if it's Fortnite, you wanna put a you wanna put a pro builder or something like that. You wanna you wanna put pro builder or something. That way people can come by that's new and say what's up to you in your stream. Cause if you guys don't put none of this stuff, you have to ask yourself, how am I gonna be noticed from how am I gonna be noticed to people when nobody knows my name or knows about me at all? There's other other streamers out here doing it. How they gonna come across your channel? How are they gonna notice that you're live streaming when you are the lowest? I'm talking about let's just say you have 1,000 to maybe 500 subs, and you're all the way down at the bottom. Nobody's gonna check on you if you don't have these tags. So you wanna enter in all those tags. And guys, I actually have a a, a website that I can that drop can drop. It's called VidIQ that can show you guys the best tags in you. You wanna put all those tags in there. That way your your stream will rank higher than everybody else's. I've been doing this for a long time now, and I can tell you guys it works out very, very well. I'm telling you guys. So these these are the information that you want to use. So after you enter in all your tags, you have your, your privacy, your quality, your description and title and everything ready to go. All you simply want to do is press start broadcasting and you guys will be live on YouTube. And if you guys, um, like I said, if you have the YouTube app on your phone, you can control your stream, your title, and all that through your phone. Or if you have a laptop or a computer, you can do all that from your computer. Again, if you guys need any other information, please drop a comment down below. I would love to help you guys out, and I will actually make a video for that for guys who need more in-depth tutorial on how to do this. Um, it's been your boy King J. Thank you guys so much for rocking out with me, man. Again, if you're new and I helped you out, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and 
share this video, man. One hour way to 100k subscribers, man. Gang!